Hey guys, Ron here. And what if in the Pokemon world, there was a Pokemon that split off from a common ancestor of ours and became a super-powered, human-like Pokemon? There are tons of Pokemon that are inspired by human aspects and traits, and a bunch of Pokemon are fairly humanoid. But what if we made the most humanoid Pokemon ever? Because it will be the Pokemon most related, evolutionarily, to humans in the Pokemon world. This Pokemon would have powers based on the unique features and abilities that separate humans from other animals on Earth. In the first half of the video, we're going to analyze all of humanity's traits and themes, and then in the second half, you're going to watch me create a three-stage evolutionary line of Pokemon that are basically the distant cousins of humans, who have evolved into intelligent super-powered creatures. And over on Loxon's channel, he has a new video that you can check out after this one in which he theorizes whether or not the humans in the Pokemon world are already Pokemon themselves and have powers of their own. But in this video, I'm going to be making a new line of Pokemon that takes all of the subdued powers that we have as humans and turns them into extreme supernatural abilities. This is a common thing in Pokemon already. Pokemon birds are more extreme versions of birds in the real world, Game Freak took the powers that a skunk has and amplified it in Skuntank, Launcher, like a real-world pistol shrimp, is able to shoot out highly pressurized water. So just like we have a panda or mole Pokemon, let's create a human Pokemon. It'll look very humanoid, so it'll push the boundaries of what we consider to be a believable Pokemon design, but that's the point. It will look like a human, but as if humans evolved to have elemental powers and battle instincts. To figure out our new Pokemon's battle prowess, we have to decide what makes humans different. The number one trait that will highly contribute to our human Pokemon's abilities is our big brains, specifically the size of our cerebral cortex, which is correlated to how we evolved into the most intelligent species on Earth. While not the biggest, our efficient brains allowed us to basically take over the world. Our ability to speak and communicate using complex languages is also a superpower we humans have. We're able to spread information and learn from the experiences of other humans without endangering our own lives. Through language, we simply know more things than any other animal. Therefore, I believe our Pokemon will be able to speak, perhaps telepathically, since it's pretty much guaranteed this Pokemon will be a psychic type. But even on the surface, humans are the most expressive animals. We're able to understand each other simply by interpreting the hundreds of different facial expressions we can make. Interesting fact, humans seem to be the only animals that blush as a sign of embarrassment. It's another way we're able to determine what our friends or foes are thinking. We may have adapted this feature in order to look more sympathetic to other humans. Perhaps the pre-evolved form of our Pokemon can manipulate others using its facial expressions, like mind control. Another way we share feelings is through art. While other animals can physically paint or arrange patterns, we have the ability to interpret our ideas and emotions using creative outlets. I do believe our ability to have abstract thoughts such as theoretical concepts will allow our Pokemon to think on a higher level than any other Pokemon. But even though most of our powers are mental, we still have unique physical traits that have allowed us to overpower other animals. Humans are known for their endurance and perseverance. While humans are relatively slow, we can outrun most animals because we don't need to rest. We can chase down herds of prey for days and eventually catch up and attack. We're able to sweat instead of sitting down and panting, and for this reason, our Pokemon will be proficient in endurance. Our other massive evolutionary advantage is our ability to stand upright. This allowed us to free our hands to carry tools and weapons. Because of this, humans are also the most dexterous. Our fingers allow us to create everything and has helped us progress as a species. A significant ability that our new Pokemon will have is its mastery of tools and therefore the elements. We can harness fire and cook, allowing us to sanitize and break down the key components of our food, giving our brain the power and energy it needs. We're able to make clothes to protect our bodies, and I'm sure our human Pokemon won't necessarily be completely nude. But of course, the number one impact our hands and brains have had is destruction and war. No other animal on Earth has destroyed as much as humans have. Therefore, warfare, endurance, and manual dexterity will probably lead the Pokemon we create to possess the fighting type as well. Now that we know what makes this Pokemon unique, Let's decide the theme of this family's design before creating it. Humanity's past, present, and future will coincide with a child form that evolves into a teenager and then an adult. I think I'll use armor from the stone, bronze, and then iron age as a hidden design element in this Pokemon's design. Here are the various type combinations a human Pokemon could have. If we focus on how ancient humans manipulated the earth itself to their will, the first form could be a fighting rock type for the stone age that evolves into a fighting steel type representing the bronze and iron age, which evolves into a fighting psyche type representing the modern age. If you want to get biblical and say that man was created from the earth, this family could be a ground type with the final evolution being ground steel type and holding advanced tools. 
If you want to be cynical and say that humanity is evil and the bane of Earth's existence, the baby could be normal and evolve into a fighting dark teenager which evolves into a dark psychic adult. If you want to be literal and directly translate humans into a species of Pokemon, the baby could be normal, become a fighting type teenager at level 13, and end up a fighting psychic type at the legal age or level of 18. But I think we're gonna make a normal psychic type baby that evolves into a fighting and psychic type teen at the late level of 30 since babies have relatively longer development times than any other animal and then it becomes an adult at level 40. Sexual dimorphism or difference in appearance between sexes will be a huge design element to take into account. Let's begin by designing the male adult final form first and work our way backwards. I'm starting by giving it an Iron Age helmet that will act like hair around its face. Then instead of straight up human hair, it'll be geometrical like a fictional character, trying my best to stray away from human elements when possible and that means that I'm purposely not making it anatomically correct. Pokemon eyes and Pokemon teeth and then armor like pecs. Now this is the basic pose, it's ready to unleash a psychic blast. Some segments in the upper body so it doesn't look like a straight up human skin, but an animal hide, and some chest hair that'll make it more savage looking. Throughout the process, I'm trying to find the best possible way to cover up the groin, without making it look like he has some clothes on. I go through so many different variations of body designs, I thought it would look much more futuristic if it had a trench coat like cape, but it makes it look more like clothes. That's when I decided that that part of the body should actually be hair. This guy is basically an intelligent ape. He's gonna have hair in the lower half of the body that floats like Alakazam's mustache. Just streamlining the rest of the body since I'm having artist block in the groin area, and I think I have a breakthrough here. Adding those spiky hairs on the hips makes it look less like a human and ties the entire pelvis area together. This looks better, like a caveman with powers. I wanted to give it no hair in the abdominal area and decided that a belly button will be a nice design element that the entire family could have. Now to make the female version of this Pokemon. She has a ponytail and different hair strand on the head which the females of this line will have instead of the triangle ones the males do. She won't have hair on her chin and this makes her helmet hair look more like a helmet than hair. This will be less of a problem when colored. I'm just tracing over the man and then changing the proportions because they're going to be completely different. Her hands will be less brutish and the face is too feminine so that'll change. I thought the hair on the waist that acts as a skirt was too short so the females in this family will have an extra element in this body part. And I decided to give a more monkey like tuft of hair on the cheek so it doesn't look like a woman with a roman helmet, although she still does. If she wasn't feminine it would look uncanny, it's better for her to look pretty than ugly. She does look like a badass warrior and since this is a human Pokemon, I'm fine with her looking like a human. I'm gonna give the two some wrist and ankle band designs which will make sense when you see them in color. And there they are, Humanthro, the Sapien Pokemon. In color, its resemblance to other primates is more evident. The color of its hair is also a reference to the Iron Age which inspired the helmet like hair that covers its face. I like how human belly buttons represent the fact that we are born naturally, so the navels of this Pokemon glow with psychic powers, like its eyes. It has strong psychic abilities that rival Alakazam and Gardevoir while also having the ability to outlast most fighting types in battle. In numbers, this Pokemon is capable of both great good and massive destruction. Its foes never know which method Humanthro will use to defeat them. They're even more confused when this Pokemon shows them love and kindness. This Pokemon can only live in groups. Their ability to communicate allows the entire species to constantly progress. Humanthro's endurance is unrivaled. It can last in battle longer than any other Pokemon. Some say that combat is its primal purpose, as it is able to showcase the full extent of its intelligence in the face of adversity. Its stats represent humanity's ability to endure, our brain power and mental fortitude, but also our low speed and defensive capabilities. Humanthro has access to two new abilities, either the ability Proficient, which boosts the power of held items since this Pokemon is a master of tools, or the ability Endurance, which boosts defense and speed every third turn like a wider range speed boost with delayed effects. This Pokemon has so many different options for its hidden ability. Humans could have any of the abilities that are shown on screen like Guts, Moody, Reckless, Stamina or Vital Spirit but I decided that its hidden ability should be Forewarn which allows the Pokemon to know the strongest move the opponent has since unlike wild animals, humans are aware of things that we haven't necessarily experienced ourselves. Humanthro knows the moves of its opponent. The moves this Pokemon can access are basically most fighting, normal, dark and psychic moves with some electric moves like shockwave and spark, poison moves like poison fang and poison gas, and ground moves like bone rush and bulldoze. 
Humanthro even has some grass and steel type moves like aromatherapy, grass whistle, trop kick, seed bomb, magnet bomb, and drum beating. Maybe a first impression, maybe an air lace. This Pokemon's intelligence lets it harness and utilize various elements, just like real life humans, and its shiny is albino. Time to design the teenage middle stage. I made a very rough design to follow in the top left. Since it isn't an adult, I have the excuse of using more round shapes, which helps make this Pokemon look like less of an actual human. It'll consist of simple shapes. It's literally the teenage version of the adult. Less chest hair makes sense as well as less hair on the bottom half, especially since the lower body of this Pokemon looks like a Pokemon. The female is straight up a female version of this thing, but both of them have a very goofy hairstyle. It looks like a bowl cut helmet and I wanted to look like the hair of a primate. So I made the hair flow into the girl's face and realized I should do the exact same thing for the boy. Its final design actually showcases this much better. Here is Pubescape, the pubescent ape. They look like earless monkeys, especially the female one. I was gonna make the hair orange to represent the Bronze Age helmets it has, but orange and pink look ugly together. I remembered that bronze or copper alloys would become green when rusted, so its hair is a more appropriate green. This Pokemon's disposition is very fickle. As a result, one day it will rampage, while the other day it will be completely zen. It's not afraid to try new experiences, oftentimes overestimating its abilities. While not necessarily selfish or egotistical, this Pokemon is constantly thinking about its own goals and desires. It's very driven. Their ability to communicate telepathically develops at this stage. This Pokemon can create force fields and even refract the light around it to conceal itself all representing the anguish of adolescence using psychic abilities. It's the teen Pokemon, so its ability is defiant or reckless. It's baby time. The only gender difference will be the strand of hair on top. Now this baby looks super creepy and has two accurate proportions. The only thing right right now is the hair around its waist, looking like a makeshift diaper. It's very consistent with the previous designs. I'm redesigning the head completely and adding a bib where the other two Pokemon had chest hair, another consistent design choice. But again, the proportions are too real so we gotta make the body smaller. All basic stage Pokemon have huge heads and small bodies, and this is basically it. Compared to the first draft and it's, it's gone through a lot. Here is baby Hominfant from Hominid and Infant. It is able to learn and make connections faster than most fully evolved Pokemon. Some even theorize that it's able to comprehend concepts that adult brains cannot. While all of its mental capabilities exponentially grow, its physical abilities are instinctual and unrefined. It is a master at manipulating others into doing what it wants, since it has very little physical capabilities of its own. It practices making facial expressions every day. The brownish gray hair it has represents the Stone Age. It's the baby Pokemon, so its ability can be rattle, boosting its speed when scared, or cute charm. I really hope you enjoyed this video, enough to leave a like so I know you want more. Make sure to check out Loxton's video in which he theorizes whether or not the existing humans in the Pokemon world are already Pokemon with powers of their own. And if you just came from Noggin, check out my other videos in which I create new Pokemon. I swear they all look like animals, not humans. Subscribe if you haven't and check the description for my Patreon, Twitter, and Instagram where I post art from this channel too. I'll see you guys very soon.